Hello YouTube followers. This is the third week of April and this is one of my very favorite times of the year because at this time of the year all the new leaves uh, start blossoming and opening. My beautiful Deshojo in front of my house is a beautiful soft red and pink and the flowers in the background of the exocorda have started to bloom. So let me just show you this is our house herons and why we call it herons. Many people have asked me over the years why is our nursery called herons? And for those of you who do not know the story, let me tell you what the significance of herons is. This is my house which is called herons. When we purchased it back in 1985, the house was called herons and the nursery was in a very bad dilapidated condition but the house was new but we've improved it since. I've planted all the trees and added Japanese touches to the garden and to the house and when we came to see this house the name herons was very significant from the Chinese and Japanese point of view because herons and cranes are very lucky symbols in Chinese folklore and mythology. Herons and cranes are the symbols of longevity and uh, they fly into the heavens and so we thought this would be a lovely name to have. A number of other bonsai nurseries like to call themselves uh, Tom Nursery or Dick Nursery or whatever they call it after their own names but I'm not a person to uh, like to call my nursery after my own name because I would like to call it herons because it has that very nice touch, oriental touch to the name. So here is my house and this is why the nursery is called herons. So this is herons, the home of bonsai. So when you visit our nursery, this is what you will see uh, immediately. Our garden trees of large maples, large bonsai and the large Japanese white pines. So we will take a walk to admire the spring color at this time of the year because there's a lot of color to admire and to see. When you visit herons, as you enter the nursery you will see a lot of large bonsai. We have about 20 of these very large tridents. This is my favorite one and this again you may have heard me tell you the story. These were imported as stumps in 1993 and they have, must have tripled in diameter and I grew all the branches from scratch since 1993 and this must be every bit of two feet in diameter, this trunk. So I'm very fond of this bonsai but we'll show you some of the other bonsai which are mostly maples and you will see why I love maples. This is one of my large Acer Parmatum, what we call mountain maple. It's a twin trunk tree made from putting two trees together. So again, 30 years of work on this tree and this is the state of it. It has been caught by the early frost because about 10 days ago we had very hard frost but two days uh, earlier on Good Friday we had temperatures of 26 degrees centigrade so although spring is a lovely time of the year you can get very quick changes in temperature from freezing to about 25 26 so the trees can get damaged by frost. I love everything large and this Japanese white pine right, which I imported from Japan about 15 years ago has this massive massive trunk. Unfortunately Japanese white pines from Japan are not entirely hardy so you've got to acclimatize them in this country till they become hardy. But I have grown this in a very deep pot because the deep pot makes it easier for this tree to grow. If it was grown in a shallow pot it stresses the tree too much and in early spring all these candles are starting to develop. I don't prune them straight away. I'm going to tell you more about pine pruning at another time but uh, this is just to show you the size of this white pine. Another of my large Japanese maples. This is 
just a straight Acer palmatum. This again was imported as a stump in 1993 probably and uh, I've grown a lot of the branches. At this time of the year, in the third week in, in April, the shoots here are almost all new. So these 8 or 12 inches of growth has all taken place in the last few weeks. I haven't pruned it yet. I will get round to pruning it. It's just to show you the spring condition. These are some of my, uh, not personal trees, but favorite trees. And I display them at different times of the year. This maple is called Asahi Zuru, or Rising Sun. It's got pink, cream, and green leaves, but the coloration doesn't stay for long. After about six weeks, it will turn almost entirely green. It also gets very easily burnt by the sun. So if it is left in the direct sunlight for too long throughout the summer, the tips will get burnt. So this is a very delicate tree. The foliage is delicate, but the tree is hardy.